Welcome, Algebra 2. We are continuing our unit on logarithms. Uh, this is section 7.5, and the section is called the properties of logarithms. Uh, there are three properties that we're going to discuss, and there is one formula at the end of the, of the lecture that we'll discuss. So uh, these three properties are commonly used with logarithms, uh, the product property, the quotient property, and the power property. What these properties allow us to do is either condense expressions or expand expressions. That's going to be the, no, the language that's used surrounding these formulas. So uh, this version over here is the expanded version. And this side over here, we would call the condensed version. And essentially what we're able to do is we're able to either be given logs in condensed form and convert them into expanded form or vice versa. Again, you guys are going to have questions that deal with both of those on the quizzes and tests. So sometimes you're going to be given condensed expressions and, and told to expand them. Sometimes you're going to be given expanded uh, expressions and be told to condense them. This is going to be something that's later used in 7.6 to solve logarithmic equations, but for now uh, we're just going to be kind of manipulating them. Let's go over what the property is state. Basically, if you have the log of some number uh, and they're being multiplied, like if you had 4x here, for example, you could break them up and each give them their own log with the exact same base, right? It's still base b, but you could make it log base b of 4 plus log base b of x. Notice it was multiplying in the condensed version, and when it's expanded, that gets converted into addition. This is very similar to the idea behind um, combining properties of exponents. When you multiply, you add. When you divide, you're going to subtract. So it's along the same lines. Um, logs and exponents are, are essentially inverses of each other, which we're about to find out. And so it makes sense that they kind of uh, are manipulated the same way. Here you have log base b of a quotient, some sort of division. Um, and we can take the numerator over here and subtract whatever was in the denominator. Once again, we have to keep the same bases. Finally, we have the power property. Uh, this one states that if you have the log base b of some number being taken to an exponent, we can take that exponent and write it out front. So we're going to be using all three of these properties uh, throughout 7.5. Uh, let's take a look at some examples. So I just kind of have a little matching game. Uh, if we had log base 5 of 12 minus log base 5 of 4, my hope is that you guys could see, okay, they have the same base, base 5, and they're being subtracted. I could condense those um, and divide them instead, right? Because when you subtract and they're separate, you can combine them um, using division. So it would be log base 5 of 12 over 4. We know that 12 over 4 is 3. Meaning, this guy goes over here. We could do the same thing uh, with this one. I hope you guys remember the power property says that if you have a number out front, that number could be written as the exponent on 4. So it would be 4 to the third power. We know 4 to the third power is 64. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. So this one would be, oops, nope. Okay, I can do this. That guy. Same idea here. Uh, the exponent would be 3 to the 4th. 3 to the 4th is 81. And this one here, uh, remember when you are adding, you can condense it under multiplication. So that would be log base 5 of 48. And uh, then we can match them. That was, that was, that was great. You're also going to see questions like this, where I tell you a log, a given log, log base 2 of 10 is about 3.32. And I'd also tell you that log base 2 of 3 is about 1.58. And we are going to manipulate these things uh, to figure out what log base 2 of 30 is. So I think that you guys, are, we're going to look at the numbers 10 and 3 and figure out how we could get to 30 from those numbers. Uh, 10 and 3 would be multiplying them, right? So this would be the same as log, log base 2 of 10 times 3. And now I know because I can expand this expression, each give them their own base. 
their own log. I could do this as log base 2 of 10 plus log base 2 of 3. Right? Because when you multiply, you can each give them their own log, but now turn it into addition. And I happen to know what log base 2 of 10 is. It's 3.32. They also happen to know what log base 2 of 3 is. It's 1.58. And I could add these two things and get my answer. Yes? That would be 4.90. Right? I don't want to screw up. 3.32 plus 1.58. 4.9. We could continue this logic, do the exact same thing, right? But did a different different property. Log base 10 of 10 thirds. Well, that's clearly 10 divided by 3. So I could rewrite this, right? I could uh, expand this expression into log base 2 of 10 subtract log base 2 of 3, right? That's the quotient property at work. If they have the same log and they're being divided, we could each give them their own log and turn that into subtraction. Now I just have to do 3.32 minus 1.58, and I would get 1.74, and that would be my answer, 1.74. Now log base 2 of 10 and log base 2 of 3. I know that sometimes people will be like, okay, 10 times 3 minus 3, but we can't do that subtraction inside of the log, right? I'll, I'm going to write this. This is wrong, but let's say we had 10 times 3 minus 3. We don't have a property that says when you have log base 2 of minus 3, how to expand minus 3, right? We can only condense them when they're subtracting. So uh, instead, what we're going to do is we're going to get creative with our exponents. And that actually, it's not even that bad for this one. Um, 27 is 3 to the third power, right? So I could rewrite this as log base 2 of 3 to the third. Now that exponent could be written out front. 3 times log base 2 of 3. I happen to know what log base 2 of 3 is. It's 1.58. So I can do 3 times 1.58 and get 4.74. Lastly, I've got log base 2 of 900. This one's a little bit weird. Um, definitely our most complicated one. Uh, what we could use 10 and 3 to get to 900 uh, looks to me like 3 squared times 10 squared. 3 squared is 9. 10 squared is 100. 9 times 100, 900. Let's make sure we can do this properly. Uh, that multiplication, we can expand, right? We can turn that into log base two of three squared plus log base two of 10 squared. Now both of the exponents could get written out front. Two times log base two of three plus two times log base two of 10. I happen to know what log base 2 of 3 is. It's 1.58. 2 times 1.58 plus 2 times 3.32. And I can do that math real quick. That calculation, I get 9.8. Cool. Uh, moving on. Uh, here's some expand the expressions. This is going to work uh, much the same way. Uh, when you're expanding, no, it's going to be given to you in this form. Nope, sorry. When you're expanding, it's going to be given to you in condensed form, and you're going to go this direction. With it. So let's take a look at uh, these examples. Log base 2 of 10x. It's condensed. Expanding it means I want to give everything its own log, everything that I can. So log base 2 of 10x is the same as log base 2 of 10 plus log base 2x. Keep in mind, I, know I went over this in 7.4, but ln simply means log base e. Remember the number e, that constant. We don't ever write log base e, we write ln. So ln of 1 half. Uh, remember, when you are 
dividing, we can give them each their own log, in this case, the natural log ln, but subtract them. ln of one minus ln of two. Moving on, uh, we wanna give everything that we can its own log, so keep, keep that in mind. Uh, four thirds, that's a division, we can turn that into subtraction. Then there is a multiplication, right? Four thirds times x squared. So that times is going to get turned into addition with that exponent being written out front. Those are going to be all the steps. Uh, I could break it down if I needed to, but all of those things, there's going to be a four minus a three, right? Because but each their own log. So log base two of four minus log base two of three. That's how we would write the four thirds. I'm actually going to put parentheses around those to kind of signify that hey, this is a this is a fraction, and then it's going to be added with log base two of x squared, right? Because this is a multiplication, and multiplication gets turned into addition when you give it its own log. Now this isn't completely expanded because I want that exponent to be written out front. So my answer here would be log base two of four minus log base two of three plus two log base two of x. And that looks beautiful. Now it does. Let's condense some things. This is going the other direction. Log base two of four minus log base two of seven. They have to have their own base, they do. Uh, the same base, sorry, they both have base two. And so this is a subtraction. When I condense it, it's going to be a uh, division. So this would be log base two over sevenths. The addition, we know, will get turned into multiplication. This two is going to come out front and be an exponent on x. So this would be log base three of four x squared. And we might put parentheses around this guy to kind of say, hey, all of this is being taken the log base three of 